Here's a quick video showing a little bit about how I do the pinning on my razors. This is what the washers look like when they come off my lathe. They need a little bit of deburring and cleaning up before they're ready to use. Note they're a little thicker than the normal washers. First thing I do is uh, deburr the back side and then on the outside face of the washer I make a small little countersink. Here we are getting ready to pin up the tail end of a razor. That 16th inch nickel silver rod. The washer is made out of solid nickel silver. And there's the other washer. The brown thing's a big chunk of metal that I've uh, always had. I don't know where it came from. I put the end of the pen in a little dimple in the top of the block. And the dimple is just a little depression I made with a quarter inch drill bit. So I'm going to file the top of the rod and make it smooth. I just have a little six inch single cut file. There I am pinning with my little four ounce hammer. I'm pushing the washer down because it slid up a little bit on the rod. And just a lot of little light taps. I have some tape going over the front edge of my little anvil there and that keeps me from marring the scales. Here we are getting ready to uh, pin the blade end. Again a sixteenth inch nickel silver rod, a solid nickel silver washer, and on this razor I'm using a three thirty second inch tube. The tube makes a pretty good bearing surface for the blade. Now I'm putting on the thrust washer. I use a pair of tweezers to get the thrust washers in there because my fingers are too big. Putting in the other thrust washer now, making sure I get it over that piece of 332nd inch tubing. Now I'm putting on the last washer. I put the pin in a little hole in the uh, top of the anvil. The hole's not very deep. Uh, I would guess it's about 3 30 seconds of an inch deep. I'm not really sure. So I'm filing down where the plier has squeezed it off. I 
again painting with a bunch of little taps. Doing the other side now. That hole I have in the top of my anvil leaves the pin a little bit long. So I'm filing it down a little bit till the appropriate length. Now I'm pinning the second side. And I'm trying to get the pin to mushroom out evenly over the top of the washer. I'm checking to see how tight it is. I'm going back and painting the other side some. I kind of work back and forth on the two sides as I'm kind of inching up on the correct tightness. And again, I'm trying to spread the pin out, make it flow over the top of the washer. And this needle needle file I have, I've cleaned up the uh, edges of it. The edges are safe edges. They've been sanded off and polished. And here I am blending in the pen with the edge of the washer. This kind of adds to the dome effect. Now I have a uh, little four-way emery board from the beauty supply store. And I start off with the coarsest grit, and then go to the next finest, and so on, till I get the head of the pen the way I want it. Thanks. That's it. Bye-bye.